hi guys welcome back to my channel this is hd signatures how are you guys doing so today guys i'm going to be trying to be following a scott burns makeup look guys this trend has been going on lately so i felt why don't i just jump into it guys and see what i mean how i can come up with what it actually did on tati so guys a nigeria black girl is going to try to be following a scott burns makeup look on tati and um it's going to be successful finger crossed guys so in case you guys don't know who scott band is scott scott band is the one in, in, behind jennifer lopez's you guys know how energetic jennifer lopez is on stage and even on red carpet so and you see with all our performances and all that on stage our makeup still look intact our glow still remain the same so the person behind this makeup and the glow and all that good stuff is scott burns and he actually did a makeup look on tati which a lot of youtubers have been jumping on lately so guys and i felt why don't i also try out the trend and see what i can come up with guys so a disclaimer guys i'm not trying to be a scott ban i'm just trying to follow his tricks on myself and um tati's face shape is quite different from mine so i'm just going to take a straight makeup technique i'm going to use it to work for my facial features guys so if you want to see how i came up with this look guys then please keep on watching and if you're just finding yourself on my channel for the first time please don't forget to subscribe by joining the family and guys i will see you in my next one bye guys basically i just follow what you did by applying this um foundation the concealer it's the same thing but not the same brand so i'm using this from number seven i'm using it to slightly press down the product so it's just like it's feathering it out So what this part here is patting it inside. Your chin up a bit and you're going to flick this a little bit to the side of your nose. You see guys, so I'm going to part, part, part. Use this hand to blend out the edges. So I think he also did apply the concealer in this part here because that is jawline is looking really pronounced forehead i'm going to be using this shade and i'll mix it with this very one here because this one is cool tone and it's super dark so i'm just going to make sure that they balances each other then i'm going to be using this brush the brush is using is it's more like a square shape but i'm going to be using this one because it's somewhat close to it for my cheek i'm using just that shade i'm not going to be mixing it with the other color Okay, so my forehead, okay, so to the nose parts, I'm using this tiny brush here, this flat tiny brush, that's what I'm going to be using. So I'm using the same brush. Okay, 
like blend this contour side down okay So for the lip side, we're going to just be patting, we're not going to be blending. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I'm going to be using my foundation shade and I normally use two shades of foundation and um, this is Maybelline foundation in 336 in 336 warm bronze and in 362 ruffles so i'm going to mix both together just to because it is using a foundation to blend those colors together I'm going to It's using a cream blush guys you know i mean most of us here in nigeria we don't usually use um a cream blush so i'm going to be using my lipstick from my lipstick palette blend that's in my cheek so just to like blend into the skin so guys can you see how the blush is looking like it's coming from my skin i've never really used a cream blush before but i think i like this so taking a um dry brush is using a dry brush to like marry everything all together so i'm not going to swipe my skin just like the way it was doing with tati's skin because she has a flawless skin but i have like a blemished skin i don't want to peel off what i have underneath so i'm just blending that everything all together more like to marry everything you know guys so Yeah, so I'm just going to blend my nose contour, guys. Let's see. So I'm just using a smaller brush to maintain that part. Then I'm going into more like a fluffy. fluffy brush fluffy angle brush to push in the contour
I'm using S1 because it's close to what he's using and I'm using a Mary Kay face and body bronzer so I'm going to be using this and I'll be using my favorite brush I'm just going to run it through the cover and use that to So I'm going to put that in my bridge of my nose. It's looking like it, guys. Brows. Hmm. This other part as well. Okay. Um, now it's time for contouring and I don't have this brush is using but I'm going to be using this type of brush and I'm using an eyeshadow guys just to get the shade that is using so I'm just going to So you went into this um, brush and so I'm just going to go into this brush and blend out the way he did. I'm going to be using this brush here and um, we're going to be lining our lips just like the way you see lip gloss okay guys mm -mm. yeah yeah so I'm just going to go into my brows and uh, so it didn't really do something serious it touches brows so we are just going to try and imitate that um, Davis brow pencil. So I'm going to brush my brows because I don't have a brow gel. So guys, uh, mm -mm. see my lips. So we are going to be going into our jawline.
blend that so blend this part down so our jaw looks snatched so for the eyes okay, this is the finished look i have to go off camera to just do my eyes so that will make the tutorial to be too long going into my unique royalty this was sent to me by demi dazzling it's a tony rose water tony spray so i'm just going to be using that on my face I'm going to wait for that to settle into the skin guys i must say guys like i'm really impressed with what i'm able to do i'm so happy that i jumped into this trend and i was able to come up with this look guys you know while i was doing this look i was feeling like god i hope i'm not going to be creating a blunder because at the, at the point i was really confused like I, I mean even the blending and also and everything was like god i hope this is not going to be a mistake but i just had to trust my god guys and before i started this i already created before i started this i already prayed to god to just take charge you understand guys so i like the way this is looking i like the way i'm glowing guys and the thing about this uh process is i can barely feel anything on my skin you know because we didn't really use so much so guys after spraying the rose water spray this is how my face is looking guys i mean i feel like i'm not wearing anything i feel like there's nothing on my skin so i think the whole purpose of this um technique is you less is more you understand guys because i didn't really um in terms of the skin or like how we usually do our skin um routine like you know our skin our skin based routine like um foundation after your foundation you are light after you are light you contour after you contour you know you still set with powder we do all of all of those things in this look right but the difference is we do it at the same time not like after one another we did it almost at the same time and we use less of each product because everything was just i mean i'm feeling like i'm not wearing anything on my skin that i think that's the purpose of this technique i'm feeling like i'm not wearing anything like the way i'm feeling right now guys is like i'm not wearing anything on my skin i can only feel like i have an eyelashes on and my hair tie obviously but it's like i'm not i'm not even having anything on my skin guys this is real deal honestly this guy is good scott ban is really really good and um another thing another challenges i think i was having along the way was because i have blemishes on my skin you know why you know the trick guys how i was able to like cover the blemishes to an extent because i use a darker a darker contour like a darker um foundation to come it's not a kind of shade that i would like usually use when i'm going to be when i'm doing my regular foundation and lighting and contouring i'm going to be using a shade that is not as dark as that but in this in this um techniques i use a shade that is darker than the one i would usually use so that alone covered my spots you understand without me even using too much so i really love this process and i i'm going to incorporate my base routine because i feel like i'm not wearing anything guys like my face is not caked up you know setting and all that is you know i feel like i'm not wearing too much so and my my take will be you have to follow your face shape in order for you to get it right so you just have to follow the kind of face shape you have for you to get it right guys thank you so much for following me on this journey guys i'm so excited and thanks to god for coming through once again i really enjoyed this process so guys this is how a black nigerian girl tried to follow scott band's makeup look on tati and i'm really so excited this is scott's natural guys so, thank you so much guys i really enjoyed myself bye guys